Hey guys, welcome to the Xbox Gaming Channel. My name is Glenn and today I'm showing you Chernobylite, a new game that's available on the Xbox Series S and X. Um, but it has been in early access on PC since uh, late 2019. And right here I'm in my base uh, because the game features uh, base building and collecting resources to maintain your crew and your base. You can also do trainings here uh, to improve your stats and it's not just a booster or anything it's an actual training and you can acquire your emissions right here. Here as you can see go on a heist. Um, at the moment I only have one team member this guy and all. Where, oh, there you go. Oh, there is. It's this guy, Oliver. And the game is about um, you, Ego. That's your name. And your wife has been missing since the nuclear disaster in Chernobyl, which actually happened uh, back in 1986. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the wife is missing, and this time. You're back at Chernobyl after 30 years trying to find uh, Tatiana and to do that you gotta do a lot of missions but also unravel a lot of mysteries. You can also a sniper you can also send your um, teammates on missions. And it's all in the first person shooter, but it has a lot of RPG elements and also some horror effects because of uh, what happened. The place has been left with some guards, but also some uh, weird looking monsters affected by Chernobylite, which is a mineral that also powers your, uh, your portal gun. And that's where the story of Chernobylite comes in. It, it's something that truly happened, but mixed with some sci-fi elements to make it its own. And it's a very unique concept, in my opinion, though. And the graphics of the game are pretty, pretty good, but nothing special. And the world... Uh, it's the world is really cool actually it's the world has been created by 3d maps high definition 3d maps that is from actual scans of the area and it's about uh, six areas I'm gonna, can I equip it yeah. it's uh, from six areas uh, among them are the the reactor but also the radar facility. Here's the train station. And as you can hear, it's a very eerie music. It's dark. So um, it's, it's quite important to use your stealth in this game. It's not all about shooting because all your ammo and all other resources are very scarce. So you can't just do whatever you like you have to think things through manage your um, you have to manage your resources or else you can get a difficult time later on in the game just kill them all So let's see if I can sneak up on him. Here. Also, the game is pretty realistic in physics, also in line of sight. It's a pretty realistic distance that uh, NPCs can see you. Ugh! <sighs> 
Oh, where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Okay, so you can see I'm bleeding heavily at this point. I'm out of ammo and I already died. Oh. I'm using adrenaline, that is. A heavy armored soldier, so... I don't have anything else left of bullets. And now I actually died. So as I told you, it's it's not easy. It's important to manage and plan and use stealth because, it, because if you don't, you'll see a quick end and a painful end. Don't be afraid to die. That is a natural part of progress. Стрела, выпущенная на заре творения и летящая в бесконечность. Универсальная константа, которая... Или что-то большее. Четвертое измерение, которое все-таки может меняться. Yeah. Что-то, что This может принимать форму, когда ты прибыл на базу из раненого... Of, um, Но ты не смог назвать Оливер... Чернобылай. Давай, Игорь. Измени про... Руки вверх. Так, чтобы я видел. And now I'm back at some checkpoint. Here, inventory. Ah, here. You collect Chernobylite, and then uh, that way you can adjust your choices. У нас нет времени на игры, Оливер. Разве ты не видишь, что это я? And that way you can change your memory that, in a way that benefits you. It's it's a really interesting uh, game and really interesting gameplay. Означало бы это, что ты вернулся во времени назад. Или создал альтернативную be... oh. вселенную. Это твой шанс изменить принятые решения. Шанс перекроить ткань пространственно временной реальности. Шанс изменить последовательность событий. Ah, now the door opened, okay. Мы еще можем быть вместе, Игорь. Но ты должен узнать всю правду, если действительно хочешь найти меня. Here, uh, every crystal represents a memory you can alter. Эти события еще не произошли, а наше будущее не предопределено. Here, and all these things haven't happened yet, as she said. But uh, when you progress in the game, those memories become available, and you can use the mineral Chernobylite to alter your memory. But it doesn't always benefit you, as you could read a few moments ago. But everything is in your own hand. You can even um, you can even decide what missions you want to play, and on what missions you want to send your crewmates. And every mission has its own risk. I'm thinking on... Alright, I need to go to bed. Here, day two. You can also do only one mission on a day. And that same thing goes for your teammates. Only one mission is possible per day. Ладно, Игорь. No. Can I take everything from him? Oh, no, no, okay. And here you can assign the missions. So here I can send Oliver to a mission. Stay at base is always 100% chance. Here ammo drop, ammo stash. So I'm sending him to the nor uh, to the to this area, the Moscow Eye. And me, 
I'm going to a medicine drop. And those heists are something different than the missions. Here the loading screen is representing the portal gun you have. Which is powered by the mineral Chernobylite. I have it right here. This is the portal gun. Unfortunately, the game is not 100% okay. Because the game um, has some issues with the loading screens. I think for next-gen consoles, the loading screens are pretty long. But also, frame rate isn't 100% okay, and also gameplay has its issues. For instance, aiming downside doesn't slow your aim, it just looks like you're swinging your arm in, in the wild hoping to shoot something. Mission failed, ah, okay. So yeah, when you return mid-mission, you will fail the mission, uh, of course. But, okay. Here, I just give... everyone... enough food to keep... Um, keep everybody happy that's also a part of this game but overall I think the game is pretty good but I was hoping the game would have been optimized more since it already has been in early access for about two years so therefore I am giving it a 7.9 out of 10 points thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video